If you're getting ready to take on a new creative project, something big that you might be unfamiliar with, something like becoming the creator of your own garden, what is the most important thing to achieving a successful outcome? Welcome to Planning to Garden. I'm Ed Chandler. So it's a brand new year, we've got a fresh energy and a new start, and today I thought I would take just a scrappy approach to talking through a thought experiment, having a dialogue, thinking through what might be the most important thing to achieving a successful outcome when you are doing something big and creative like becoming the creator of your own garden or any large creative effort where you're stepping into unknown territory. So let's think through that. One option is casting a vision. So that's taking that idea and beginning to give it an opportunity to manifest in your mind and understand what it could look like. What does it make possible? And what are the experiences that it enables? What could it look like? What are the, the... the, what is the feel and what are the smells and how, you know, what are the colors? So that you begin to explore that world in your own mind and get a sense of what it could look like. So that can be really important because it's taking that idea and allowing it to become more real. Almost like when authors talk about writing a book and their characters, you know, they have the seed of an idea for a character, but they haven't really figured out how that character is going to act or what that character is going to do. They almost allow that character to live a life of its own inside of the book. So you're doing the same with your vision. You're taking that idea and and allowing it to grow and just being along for the ride almost in terms of that experience. So that's one option, casting the vision. Another is understanding the process. So that's very useful in understanding how do you get from A to B or C to D, E, F, G. And that gives you a good structure to follow and tells you, you know, what what is the next set of steps or what is coming down the pipe. So getting a really good understanding of what a, that process for that type of project would look like. What is the flow chart? So that's another option is getting a good understanding of the process. What about a framework for understanding? That can be useful for really understanding how the different constituent parts work or for figuring out what applies to your project versus what doesn't apply and that you can safely ignore and still be able to move forward successfully. So casting a vision, understanding the process, having a good decision framework or understanding framework, all of these are important. But I've been thinking about this over the holidays, that there is something that underlies these that is more important. And because we're trying to get to the most important thing for achieving that successful outcome, this is it. It's making the decision. Now that sounds deceptively simple, but understand that between zero and one, between the thing not happening and the thing definitely happening, there's this fuzzy middle ground. And if you're in that space, you are approaching something, maybe if it works out, um, you haven't fully committed to it. But once you have committed to figuring out how to be successful at that thing, that you will make that thing happen no matter what, then it spurs the next action. It says, okay, based on that, now that I have committed to this decision, what is the next step that I need to take in order to pursue that path? What do I need to learn next? That inspires curiosity to start discovering and and dive into knowledge and see, okay, what might apply? What frameworks are useful? What processes do people use? And so that all that all that is built around that point of making the decision that yes, this is a thing, big and unfamiliar as it may be. I am going to figure out this thing. I can figure out this thing, and I'm committed to actually manifesting that outcome. So I think making the most important thing for achieving that successful outcome is deciding that you're going to. So that's it. How about you? Is this the year that you've decided that you are going to become the creator of your own garden? Or is there another compelling project that is uh, calling your attention that you really want to manifest and spend your time and focus understanding? Tell me about it. 
And if there, if you do want to become the creator of your own garden and make your own garden this year, but you haven't really decided, you're kind of on the fence, what's holding you back? Let me know. Thank you. That's it. Um, make sure that you subscribe so you, you find out about next week. Next week, we'll be talking with Monique Siebrechts of Great Parents in Power. We had a great conversation, and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. Uh, we talk about setting intentions for the new year about how do we teach ourselves to become better parents and Waldorf education in the garden. We cover all sorts of different things. So look forward to that conversation, something a little bit different and trying out some new things this year. Um, let me know how you'd like me to make the channel better. And otherwise, I'm just glad that we had an opportunity to talk today and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.